Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain SPS 930 Total Station Setup Training. Now that we've actually set our total station up where we've either backsided in with the resection or we've gone out there with the pole and done the setup or set over, however you've done that, we need to set this total station into machine control mode. I don't physically have a machine out here right now, but let's say that we needed to set it up to work with a grader or a dozer, an excavator, a skid steer, whatever it is in this area out here. The total stations have a window that can be set, which means that if the total station loses track of the target on the machine or something gets in its way, the person in the machine doesn't have to come back over here and turn the total station until it finds it or get in its way. The total station will automatically go into a search mode and look inside a specific area for the machine, um, which is really nice because it may take it a minute to find it, but it will eventually find it. And the reason for the window is you don't want the total station to lose track of the machine and then just all of a sudden start searching in areas that the machine isn't even in. It'll be there. So the way that you set that is in your menu here, you go there, project setup, and then down in that list is a machine control setup. So on this, it shows you four different boxes. You don't have to set all four boxes. You can either use the joystick to turn it or just manually turn it with your hand. Just be careful not to bump it really hard. But all it's looking for is one high and one low. And I don't mean really high straight up or really low. Just basically look at the horizon or the area it'd be working for a height and then a low point. So for example, I'm gonna do over here a high and I'm gonna turn it to where I know he's not gonna work beyond that point. And then I'm gonna just point it up to where I think it wouldn't need to search any higher than that. And I'm going to set this at a set high. So now it only shows a bottom right. So what you want to make sure, and I've had people do this wrong, is if that's where they're working, don't do your one there and then spin the total station that way because that sets the window over there. What you want to do is turn it back the way where they're actually working. So I'm going to manually just grab it and I'm going to turn it and say he's not going beyond there and he's not going to be needing to look any lower than that on the total station and I'm gonna set the bottom right. So we're good to go there. We set the window, we hit next, and what we can do at this point is set a channel. So whatever channel you set at here is the channel that this total station is gonna sit at in what's called standby mode. And it's waiting for a machine with a radio that has a two, four megahertz radio on it to pick up the channel that this is sitting and waiting on. You can have up to five machine total stations all on the same channel waiting. Let's say it was a really long linear job site and the guy in the grader needs to grab different total stations as he moves along. He could do that. So I'm going to set this one to 31. That's just something that I'm familiar with. It's something that I've always remembered. Using familiar numbers is kind of key for me, something I always remember. So network ID, I'll do that at 31 and then I'm going to hit this plus button and I'm going to do 31 and 31. They can be the same number and I'm going to hit finish. So I've got one in there. So if you have multiple different ones in there, we have actually found that that has aired up the system before. So selecting some of the old ones, if you have different channels and hitting that trash can is a good idea. So I have that one in there. I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna set this to machine control mode and it's gonna say it's finished. I can hit finish and it automatically disconnects me from the total station. So on the faceplate here, let me show you. Now on the faceplate here, you can see that this is toggling back and forth between waiting for connection, but at the very bottom, it's got channel 1010. And then if you look at it, it's gonna go in just a second to 3131. It'll toggle back and forth in between those two. So right there, channel 3131, and then it'll toggle back in just a second to 1010. That means that it's waiting for a connection from either a total station setup again. So I, even though I put this in machine control mode, it doesn't mean that that's the only thing that it can be used for. I can come back and connect to it here on 1010, or I can connect to it with a machine at 3131. But that is how you set that and that, set that window and set it up for machine control mode. Just make sure that you set those windows decent. If you set it up too high or too low, it's gonna take a really long time for the total station to find your machine.
But hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching this video from Sight Tech Intermountain SPS 930 machine control setup.